Hey guys, it's Kevin here again, and I wanted to go over uh, something I've been seeing a lot on the forums, and that's a uh, long crank time with no start, and then finally the vehicle will start, and once it starts, it runs fine for the rest of the day. And 99% uh, of the time when you have that condition, it is related to fuel pump pressure. And usually what happens, there's a valve inside the fuel pump that is designed to hold pressure on the rail once you shut the engine off, and that valve has failed and it allows all the fuel to drain right back into the tank as soon as you shut off and then when you go to crank it again while you're cranking you're having to wait for that fuel pump to push fuel all the way up to the rail bleed the air out pressurize the injectors and then start spraying into the cylinder so you can get started and that leads to a really long crank time where the engine just cranks and cranks and cranks and cranks and cranks and then finally it catches and runs and then once it's running it's it's pretty much good i mean you can drive it down the road you have no problems no driving symptoms you just have a really long crank time and you notice this more in the winter months because a cold engine requires much more fuel to start and run than a warm engine does on a warm engine once you start that cranking process it doesn't take too long even a smaller amount of fuel will start the engine so you really don't have to wait for everything to get to spec uh, on a very cold engine you do and so you end up with a, a long cranking time which is bad on your starter it's bad on your battery it's bad on uh, pretty much the entire system you want to fix that so i'm going to show you real quick how to diagnose it and i've already got everything hooked up but i'm going to go over a couple things um get you off of here All right, first things first, where I'd like to start is the, let me grab my flashlight here. I'll cover it disappeared too. The first things I like to start with is, I'm hoping you can see this. All right, now what I usually like to start with is, this is the fuel pressure regulator as you can see right here. And if you're having these symptoms during the summer times or when the engine's real warm, you might want to unplug this regulator unplug this regulator and let the engine run for about 5-10 minutes to make sure no fuel is coming out of the regulator where the vacuum line hooks up as you can see right here um, like I said this is more pronounced on warm engines or during warm weather because what's happening is if this vacuum line is or this diaphragm is ruptured inside of here you're technically kind of flooding the engine out when you shut it down so a lot of times that will lead to a warm long crank time hard start but that's not the symptom here. I've already unplugged it, let this vehicle run for 10 minutes. It didn't have any fuel coming out, so I know that's not the problem. So I'm going to go straight and check fuel pressure. Now, one of the first things you want to do before you do that is come to your fuse box, find your fuse for the fuel pump. It's hard to see, but you can see some of these fuse boxes, they're listed. Sometimes they're not. You can go online or you can, you know, if you ask around, you can find out what fuse goes where. Sometimes it's in your owner's manual. Just take your fuel pump fuse out, run the engine until it shuts down, and, and then crank it over a couple of times and make sure it stays shut down, and that will drain the fuel pressure out. Because what you don't want is to take that line off and get a face full of fuel. That system's under 40 pounds of pressure. It's a lot of fuel. It'll spray everywhere. Now, as you can see, I've already hooked up the tester. We teed into the line that goes to the fuel rail. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start the engine up and see where our pressure's at and then when we when we're done we're going to shut the engine off and see how long it takes for this to go to zero you know it should be holding pressure for quite a long time i should be able to sit here for at least 10 minutes and see pressure on the system if it goes to zero in a couple minutes then i know that the check valve is going bad and it's letting all the fuel bleed out of the rail and into the tank so I'll put you back on the tripod and i'll show you Zoom in a little bit. All right, let's start it up. All right, as you can see, we've got good fuel pressure. And 32 pounds is about normal for this particular vehicle. You can come over and unplug your pressure regulator like you did in that first test. And now test your regulator. As you can see, the pressure goes up. So we know the fuel pump's not having a hard time delivering fuel pressure. 
and the regulator is doing its job. So the next question is, is the fuel pump check valve any good? And the best way to test that is to shut the engine off, see what happens to our fuel pressure. Alright, and as you can see, it's it's already going away. It's it's pretty much already gone. Down about 25 pounds. That should still be holding. Down to 20 pounds. And there it goes. This fuel pump has a bad check valve. It's not holding fuel pressure on the rail, which means that when when it goes to get started, they're having to wait for fuel to be pumped from all the way from the tank all the way to the front, fill the rail up, and pressurize, bleed air out the whole nine yards. So this vehicle needs a fuel pump. That is the source of this vehicle's long time crank, no start or late start condition. Put a new fuel pump in it, and it'll probably fire up first time every time. And thanks for watching the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys later.